Next one is from James Carter. James is uh, asking um, about a bond, a, a bond, a, I don't know if I can say this, abandoned, I can't say this in English, um, bottom up completely, <laughs> file structure, part file structure advice. Um, this is a pretty long email, but um, from James, first and many thanks for your YouTube videos. Hey, you're so welcome. Having used Inventor previously, these have been uh, invaluable, invaluable in getting up to speed with Fusion. Glad. Um, one part that still confuses me is about part file structure. Um, and it's about doing the bottom-up approach or what is called top-down assembly. So the, there's a different questions in here, but one of them is, I feel like abandoning, abandoning, abandoning is what I'm trying to say. Abandoning bottom-up is only way to model infusion. Um, do you also feel like that? So first of all, there's some people out there saying, abandon, too, too stupid to say that, I'm sorry. You like these videos? Thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. <laughs> That's okay. Comments. The guy can't speak. It's horrible. Some people are saying, what the heck do you mean about bottom up versus top down? So let's just talk about that for a second. Get into Fusion. Uh, let's open up another file. So what we call bottom up is what I would say normally is how most people learn how to use Fusion. Um, and I still use this technique. So what it means is you start a sketch. On a plane, you draw something, a sketch, like this here, and then you maybe extrude that up, like, whoops, like this. Then you create another sketch, maybe on that top face. You do a C for circle, not even hit the center, doesn't matter. You, you, you fully define that. You do another extrusion, right? You, you're getting the picture here we're building on. Then maybe we say, all right, now we want to we want to draw another sketch and i might even select this face here but i draw a circle up here and i cut through here this is what we call bottom up and and the reason that it's bottom up is that it kind of starts from the bottom and each of these are building upon one another it's cool the other approach, let me open another file, is top down. And what top down normally means is normally used if you have multiple parts. So you're trying to create uh, multiple components that fits together, for example. In that sense, what you could do was you could start another sketch at the top uh, and, and start that sketch. And then you maybe draw, we draw the same thing we did before. You maybe draw a rectangle, but maybe instead of extruding that one out, you could be fancy and continue to draw things in the sketch. So now we have two things in here. Now I might even start another sketch on this face here and maybe draw a circle up here. Now what the top down means is that when we have drawn some of these helping sketches, Maybe now we start creating extrusions from these. So I go in and, and maybe you even start new components. So there's going to be one component. Right click that. And that component is now going to be extruded from that sketch I originally created. So that's one component driving from that original sketch. I might say I'm going to draw another component. And that component's also uh, driven from that original sketch. So I select that and I draw that up. And then there might even be another component or another feature that is driven from that original sketch created in, in the beginning. So if I hit Q, and now I might select uh, that inside profile and using that to cut with. So you see how it's kind of two different um, two different ways to do things um, in here um, and, and working in the two. So to go back to the original question from James is, um, do I abandon one to go for the other? And my question is personally, I'll say I'll do either. But many times it's because I like to you know, as much, <clears throat> and I know that this is going to frustrate somebody. 
So I appreciate, <laughs> I apologize. But as much as when we are working with CAD, we're kind of looking for like that golden ticket, that one, do this, and then you're all good. And don't ever worry about this other thing. But if you're doing this thing, then you're all good. The truth is that that is not how the world works. I mean, most people, we already know this in other portions of our lives. Um, you know, as much as I like to grill my steak, uh, three minutes per side, while I'm, I'm enjoying a cold beer, um, you know, it can't be done on the stovetop, right? And some guy will even say that it's better to do it in there and throw it in the oven, whatever. So what I am, what my rule is, should watch out with rules, shouldn't I, James? My rule is that if you are modeling things up that's going to have multiple components in it, um, then doing the top down is probably the easiest. I talked about in a previous video, I think maybe actually last week, we were talking about uh, Rob Lockwood, my good friend Rob, talking about using master modeling as a principle. And, and so maybe go back and check that video or the week or the Sunday before that. Um, master modeling is kind of like the top down approach. And if you're getting into more complicated things, uh, bigger parts, then master modeling or top down is probably the most flexible. But if you are fairly new and you're trying to get things going, bottom up is still the best one. And you will have seen if you're looking at all the different topics that has been covered today, um, these, what, these ones here was modeled bottom up and I didn't do these in a tutorial this was actually just me modeling things up this was modeled kind of like bottom up most of the stuff that I'm doing is um, is bottom up unless I'm getting into something that is more complex you're trying to add things together top down all right last one and then we're gonna wrap this up we're about an hour and a half that's it.